are 16 minutes of basketball left. Again, it's Coatesville 38, Norristown 36. Coatesville shooting 72% in that first half. If they keep that up, Frank, I mean, when you think about it, here's a team shooting 72%. We're shooting around 42%, which means we're getting a lot more shots, but we're only two points down. Yeah, and uh, Rich Hamilton is shooting 100%. How do you stop that? Jim, when Coatesville was coming out of the locker room, I heard their co their coach was a little upset. He said they weren't playing with enough intensity, that they have to turn it up a notch. He said Norristown wants the game more. I'm so impressed it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, we were talking about this at halftime. Here's a team, they don't take any wild outside shots. You know, they look around for the good shot. All of their players seem to be able to handle the ball. Eagles talking right here in front of us. It's going to be Green, Thompson, Perry, Lever, and Crutchfield. Sweet, John Two, Mike Hamilton, Royal, Rich Hamilton, starting lineup back for Coatesville. And Frank Ashley, the Coatesville coach, got three or four minutes off of subs there, you know, at the end. Rich Hamilton misses his first shot on a spin move. Battle for the boards. Hamilton gets it back and scores. That's his 17th. There goes his perfect game. Coatesville playing the zone that we started with, the 1-3-1. One, one. This is Lever, green in the corner. Back to Lever, Lever over to Thompson. Thompson on the move, underneath with a jumper, he's got it. Often Thompson with 10. Crutchfield with 10, Jimmy Lever with nine for Norristown. Eagles with full court pressure and it's a zone press, which I like. I think they have a much better chance, Frank, with a zone press than with a man to man. There goes Sweet, Sweet looking for Royal, ball hit out of bounds by Norristown. Royal, oh, oh a little ball. walk, got that away with a walk, walk on that one. This is Dragged missed that. This is John too long on the drive, he's gonna shoot the jumper, round no, good box out by Thompson. He's got the rebound, Eagles moving down court. Pass was going to go for Green, saved by Perry to Crutchfield with a three out of the corner. No, rebound Mike Hamilton. There goes John too long. Smart play, Frank. He didn't drive. There was nobody in there. Comes to Sweet. Sweet on the roll. Ball, no good. Sweet missed the layup. Lever back for Norristown. Jimmy Lever on the drive. A bad, there's, there's a oh, bad, bad shot. shot by Lever. He, he just didn't have the shot. You know, we used to get on Jimmy last year. That's a, really the first bad shot, though, I've seen him take yeah. this year, where he really forced something. There goes Hamilton, break the press. Hamilton with a jumper, it's no good. Sweet battling, nothing there. Hamilton saves, and I think he hit the line. I think he got away with a foul there, too, Jim. And Frank, notice something. Omar Jenkins coming in for Lever right away, and I think Tommy's just telling him, you know, Quick thing, look, we don't want you taking shots like that. Move the ball around. This is Thompson on the move. Coachville is still in its zone. Omar Jenkins with a jumper. Jenkins, no. Rebound by Perry. Perry comes out to Thompson. Thompson on the dribble, bounce pass to Crutchfield in the corner. Ball taken away by Hamilton. Hamilton on the drive. Spin move, goes. That was Jake Royal from Mike Hamilton. Nice play by Coatesville. Four points for Royal. And Jim, the Eagles making a couple bad passes here in the early going and losing the ball. That's something they can't afford to do against a team like Coatesville. This is Royal going up to the line. Coatesville is out to a four point lead. I think the biggest lead of the night has been Coatesville's five point lead. Royal ready, shot is up around, he's got it. Eagles coming back, 5.52 left in the third quarter. Eagles need a basket. Jenkins with the ball, over to Thompson. Thompson to Crutchfield. Bounce pass to Thompson. Thompson on the drive, all the way. Feeds Perry, Perry too strong. Battle on the board, off of White. Norristown knocks it out of bounds. Norristown had the shot, but too strong. And Eagles really struggling for those rebounds. This is Royal, the press is broken. Royal on green, over to Sweet. Sweet looks for the bounce pass, taken away by Perry. Thompson moving down. Jenkins down court, Thompson driving, stops for the jumper around, he's got it. Lofton Thompson with 12. 
Ball comes to Hamilton. Crutchfield with him, man-to-man -man pressure. And see on man-to-man, -man, Jim, they move out from under the basket and try to open it up for uh, Hamilton. Hamilton gives over to Mike Hamilton. Back to Rich Hamilton. Crutchfield playing him. <laughs> Guy behind us yelling, take the ball from him, Todd. <laughs> yeah. It's easier said than done. Uh, nice oh, pass. Nice. Hamilton yeah. finds John too long underneath. Someone missed a defensive assignment there. Ten points for, there's Thompson. Thompson loses it out of bounds. Eagles, Frank, beginning to try to force it too much in one-to-one -one situations. Got to get back to playing that team ball. Yeah, the, the Eagles are getting a little too desperate, and it hasn't reached the point yet where they have to get desperate. But you know, Jim, you think about this. We're still before Christmas, and Coatesville is playing like a team plays at the end of the season. They really have the teamwork tonight. I think we're looking at two teams that we're both that we're going to see in the district playoffs. And I think they're both going to do very well in the district playoffs. These two, uh, Lower Marion certainly is going to be there. Plymouth White Marsh has a very good team. And Jim, North Penn ranked number seven in the area, right behind Coatesville. I'm anxious well, to see what they have. We've seen that before, and you know what I say. Uh, You've got to show me with North Penn. Where do we play North Penn, Frank? We play them, play them on, uh, it's a home game here, so it'll be televised on January 12th. Well, so let's, we'll get a chance that. to see them here. What's that schedule look like in here? We get Plymouth White Marsh. Well, on January 6th, we get Plymouth White Marsh. On January 12th, the next home game is North Penn. And on the 13th, the night after North Penn, we play Harrisburg. Also at home. At home. Pretty tough schedule. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a much tougher one. That's a Saturday night, that game with Harrisburg, right? I'm sure it is. Well, I don't know. Yeah, the 12th 13. is a Friday. Rich Hamilton with the ball. Notice the switch in assignments, Frank. Thompson playing Hamilton now. He gets up height, but he's a little quicker. There's Royal with a jumper. He's got it. And Coatesville's shooting percentage is just phenomenal. 47-40. Thompson over to Lever. Lever back inside to Perry. Perry over to Thompson. Thompson with a jumper. We're going to have a foul. Foul is on Mike Hamilton. His second. Thompson will be going to line to shoot two. Co Coatesville shooting somewhere in the neighborhood of 75%. I don't know how you beat a team that's shooting 75%. You're not going to beat them. you got to hope they're going to stop missing you. Uh, Eagles 0 for 3 in the foul line so far tonight, and that's something you don't like to see. Our foul shooting has been good so far this year. Thompson will be on the line for two. His last two have gone in and out. This one is off the rim to the right. Eagles still trail by seven. Thompson really struggling tonight. Fairly good crowd here tonight, Frank, and again, if well, Jim, a lot of them were coming in at halftime, and I heard it's because the Route 202 was clogged up. A lot of fans from Coatesville. Lever oh, with a, a great steal. great save by Jimmy Lever. That foul shot by Thompson, the second one was in and out. Ball stolen away. Sweet looking up court. Finds Long, Long to Mike Hamilton. He's got it. Coatesville 49, Norris down 40. But Jim. Jimmy Lever should have passed that ball off. Eagles have got to keep their composure now. This is something I wonder what would happen when we got behind against a good team. Lever with a three. He's got it. We needed that. Jimmy Lever with 12. Eagles trail by six. Norristown playing a zone. Zone pressure. Hamilton has it. Uh, what a great, great pass, pass to Sweet. Ball blocked away. We got a jump ball. Possession in favor of Coatesville. But again, Frank, Rich Hamilton showing that he's more than a scorer. He can rebound, and he made a great pass there. He found the open man underneath. Boyer replacing Hamilton, Mike Hamilton. Ball's in the hands. This is Royal. Royal looking for Rich Hamilton. Finds him on a bounce pass. Spin move. He's got it. Nine for ten Boy, tonight, he just, I think. You put him within ten feet of that basket. He doesn't miss. Ten for twelve. Sorry. He goes down by eight again. Lever to Thompson. Thompson with a jumper. He's got it. 
Lofton Thompson with 14. Crutchfield 10, Lever 12. Eagles need some defensive pressure, a couple turnovers. This is Boyer, Boyer gives it over to Royal, out to Boyer. Boyer back to Royal, Royal looking for Sweet. To Hamilton. We're gonna have the foul, this is gonna be on Josiah Perry. This will be Perry's third foul. Norristown players didn't like that call. Foul shot by miss. Hamilton misses. Goes to show you that he can miss. There's 2.29 left in the third quarter. Eagles trail by six. Hamilton ready with a second up. It's no good. Two Eagles in a row. control, Josiah Perry. Perry's been doing a strong job off the boards. Over to Thompson, back to Lever. Lever doesn't take the three. Thompson launches, it's no good. Rebound by Perry. He might have gotten away with a push that time. Six point lead for Coatesville. Foul is on Sweet. Foul His first foul. Lofton Thompson leading the Eagles with 14, but he's 0 for 5 on the foul line right now. 2.15 left in the quarter. Henderson comes in for Sweet. And Coachville does have a bench, Frank. They're not afraid to go to it. Thompson ready, shot up. Lofton's got it. 51-46, Thompson with 15. Ready with a second as the Eagles trying to close this margin. Shot up, no good, way off, battle underneath. Rebound comes off to Perry. Perry controls, comes outside to Lever. Lever to Thompson. Thompson on the drive, stops the jumper, he's got it. Thompson with 17, 51-48. Thompson Eagles cuts down the lead to within three. three. This is Boyer back, 157 and counting. To Royal, Royal to Boyer, Eagles in there, 131. Hamilton doesn't have the shot, comes to Long. Long goes across to Royal. Royal launches the three, no. There's Thompson with a strong rebound. Eagles on the break. This is Crutchfield on the move. Spins, drives, around, no, it's out. Oh, there was a big break. Eagles needed that. Boyer on the move. Boyer underneath the long, gonna have a... I think we're gonna have a foul on Jimmy Lever. Foul Lever, actually that turned out to be a good foul. Coachville was gonna get the layup. That ball looked like it was in, run around and came out and foul big miss. Norristown really hustling out there tonight. You can tell the Eagles do want this ball game. Jenkins off the bench replacing Thompson, Lofton with 17. Coach will inbound, 13 foul. Ball's into Hamilton, he's underneath. Bounces out and he... I think that's a, is that a Ooh, foul on Hamilton? That's a foul on Hamilton, that's his third. And it is, that's his third foul on Rich Hamilton with 126 left in the third quarter. Actually though, they have other players. He's their best player. But the other yeah. players show they could survive without him. Jenkins to Lever. Lever back to Jenkins. Jenkins in the corner of Crutchfield. Quick move by Royal, knocking it out of bounds. Eagles need a basket here. Jenkins over to Lever. Joe Green is in the corner. Lever launches a three. He's got it. Jimmy Lever with 15. That's Tie his ball fourth, game. His fourth three-pointer. And we're tied at 51. All right, fifth three-pointer. Boyer with the ball. Over to Long. Long to Boyer. Boyer to Long, Long to Royal, Royal to Long. Boyer with the ball, he goes putting pressure. Long on the move. Jumper up, he's got it. Long with 12. Coachville back up by two at the 42nd mark in the third quarter. This is Jenkins, over to Lever. Back to Jenkins. Let's see if the Eagles hold the ball for one. Ball comes across to Lever. Well, I certainly would with Thompson on the bench. 
Lever on the dribble, and it looks like they are. Coming down to the 22nd mark, the ball in the hands of Jenkins. Jenkins, cross court to Crutchfield. Crutch oh, almost a pass to loss. Let's see what happens. Ball battle around, Crutchfield contains it. Feed goes to Green, in and out oh. again. <laughs> Hamilton driving, stops for the jumper, oh. he's got it. At the buzzer, Coatesville 55, Norris down 51. Eagles with two balls in and out of that basket. Green and Crutchfield. Chance to tie it up and instead down by four. Jim, I just can't believe how soft a touch Rich Hamilton has. He just puts that dead ball up there, touches the rim and doesn't bounce at all, just falls in. Norris Town cheerleaders. Last week against Upper Marion, he had just 12 or 13 points, I guess. You've got to believe that if he feels they need him and he's called on, he comes and makes the basket. He's an unselfish player. Oh, he's certainly a team ball player. He's made some great passes tonight. Coastville by four. It's certainly still anybody's ball game. Eagles trailed by as much as seven, came back to tie it at 51, and then had two balls rim around that hoop and fall out. Jim, considering the difference in shooting percentages, it's it's amazing that we're in this game. Now, of course, the difference with that is, like, if you take 25 more shots, you know, you only have to make five or six of them. Your shooting percentage is still lousy, but you're in the ball game. But then you factor in the Coatesville, the fact that uh, Rich Hamilton is shooting a little under 